All right. We live? We're live. I think we're live. We seem to be live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Commander Kylie, Episode 7. The first episode of The Universe is Toast, The Keys of Crodacia. After learning that his slash her arch enemy Mortimer McMahon is still alive, Commander Keen looks for clues and makes the discovery that Mortimer plans to destroy the universe. Once at Mortimer's base, located on planet Crodacia, he finds that the entrance to the base is locked. The only way to open it is with the seven keys of Crodacia. He must find the keys. The fate of the universe is in his hands. Slash her hands. So, this is a mod of a mod. Uh, we are still uh, playing the Commander Kylie games as modded by Xylem, but this is actually a mod by uh, a whole team of people, but principally Selic, who made the Universe's Toast trilogy as a series of three games, mods of 4, 6, and 5, respectively, uh, for 7, 8, and 9. Uh, so, yeah, this is about Selic, Brian... Uh... <laughs> Klava Deshka. Deshka. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a, um, it's a really great, uh, sort of continuation of the, uh, of the series. And, uh, I haven't played the whole thing through myself, uh, ever before. So this is going to be, um, a bit of a first. So this is following on from, uh, Keen 6, last episode, our hero Becky Blaze rec rescued her sister Molly, her babysitter Molly, rather, from the hungry blues of Fribulous Zax. Uh, so Molly's younger brother Mortimer McMire had uh, has a plan to destroy the universe, and uh, in Mortimer's room, uh, Molly that um, allowing us access to uh, Mortimer's room. But uh, there is a video with the standard galactic alphabet, and Mortimer issues this message: "Hello, Commander Clown. I assume since you're watching this, my sister has explained to you." My plans and you searching for clues found this on my desk. You know I'm always one step ahead of you, 314. You may have foiled my plans to destroy Earth. You may have stopped the destruction of the galaxy, but the universe is toast. My universal toaster cannon... <laughs> yes, the universal toaster cannon is nearly completed. And don't try to stop me. My Crodacian slaves will take care of you in an instant. Goodbye, Captain Kylie. Uh, nuts, Mortimer's really got things planned out this time. But he gave away that he will be on Crodacia. And uh, so we head there and find finding Mortimer's Universal Toast Cannon with ease. It's gigantic. Uh, so we find the entry, but we need the keys. Hey, Commander Kylie, I'm glad I found you. Hurry, we need to get the seven keys to get in. The fate of the universe is in our hands. Now, wait just a minute. Who the heck are you? I'm Lieutenant Barker of the Vorticon Special Forces. My assignment is to help you stop the Grand Intellect. Well, okay, but trying to get in my way. Do you know where the keys are? Yes, the Crodacians have hidden the seven keys far from here. Fortunately for us, the Universal Toaster Cannon hasn't been completed yet. This battle station is not fully operational. All right, then. Let's go get those keys. Yes, ma'am, Commander Kylie. Commander Kylie and Lieutenant Barker take the Beamoth Bacon Mega Rocket to the other side of the planet where Lieutenant Barker believes the seven keys are hidden. Once landed, Kylie and Barker head in separate directions to cover more ground. Kylie must find the keys. She must get into Mortimer's base. And she must save the universe! So yeah, uh, this is a mod of Keen 4. And uh, as a result, it plays pretty much the same. The engine is uh, basically identical. But uh, we've got some new items, including the familiar hamburger from Keen 2. Uh... And uh, we've got gems this time. The Crodacian gems are life-sustaining energy. So what have we got? We've got the Crodacians, who uh, replace the bluebirds, I believe. Um, they are immortal. You can't stun them permanently. Uh, Brombo. Uh, throwing gas bombs, which I think are Berkeloids. Uh Squidly are... Harmless little critters that live in the lakes of Crodacia, they like to steal goodies. So they're a mix of the uh, treasure um, stealers, the Nostocene Ancients, and uh, but they're in the underwater sections. We have the key carrier. They used to replace the council members. You have to get the keys. Uh, 
Ogo Bogo, as you can probably tell, is a replacement of the dope fish. They swim and eat. Crank. Um, they are grumpy people in hover ships. We got Hopper, who is basically the mad mushroom. Nose drill is the um, worm mouth thing. Patsy replacing the poison slug. Lieutenant Barker uh, is the replacement for Princess Lindsay and will give us advice if we can find him. Uh, Rotten Radish. Um, the meaning of rotten. Four pairs of razor sharp teeth. Uh, something out of keen dreams there. Magifly. Um, the Slurples replace the Licks. The Magifly replace the... Uh, Sky pests and the fat monks um, zap you from midair, uh, and I think are actually basically the sprites, but above ground rather than underwater. So yeah, this is um, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I have um, never played this game uh, other than sort of I've played little bits of it, like I've tried it out enough to know like. To see it working and stuff but i've never played through the whole game so this is uh gonna be a first for me and uh hopefully i won't embarrass myself too much being with bacon mega rocket pretty much as standard do 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 The Blue Forest. Let's get it going. I thought it had original music, but I may have stuffed that up by modding it with the Commander Kylie files. Alright. So, with regards to this series of games, one of the objectives was very much to make it feel like uh, the originals. Um, so, very original flavour Commander Keen games. Uh, where other mods, you know, really go out there and try different things and that kind of thing. This, this was a real attempt to be more faithful to the uh, original series basically try to capture the idea of what the universe's toast could have been if id software had ever made it um the ways in which it is obviously different from how id software would have made it was that we know that id were probably going to do it in vga uh but um keeping the galaxy feel i don't i definitely don't mind so yeah that's the first level well that went well enough Let's go into the private manor. Uh, you look like a bouncer. I kind of want to look up what that says. I do quite like the um, graphic assets. I I, I think they ah. Oh. Oops. I think it looks like a really rich and detailed world. Things like the running taps, the cupboards, which I've just nicked stuff out of. Sky pests. Uh, some uh, little tribute uh, art there of uh, old keen bad guys, the dope fish and the shikadai. There's the butler bots from uh, Keen One too. Very odd color scheme in a lot of ways.
going to be saving a lot uh, because I don't know what's going to happen at any point and I don't want this uh, to be too slow paced. It's definitely not speed running or anything but um, which will surprise no one. Oh come on. That took way too many goes. Oh, that's one of the key robots up there. All right, cool. So yeah, I don't know like what levels we need to look in. I don't know what levels have what. As this is based on Keen, uh, that's one of those things that the help file told me a mean when you wake them up. Um, as this is based on Keen 4, I assume there is a secret level. Um, probably a hard as a brass tax secret level at that. Okay, how are we going to do this? Like that. It's a fleeks! We didn't see any fleeks in Keen 6 because I was playing on easy and I don't think they appear except on uh, medium and hard. I'm hoping that this is relatively... Uh, Okay, we're going to have to do something with this guy and hope for the best. Oh, it's the thundercloud. Oh, okay. I've got it now. I was trying to work out what enemy it was replacing. And it is the thundercloud. Woo. Okay, right. Got it now. I just wasn't sure what it was going to do to me if I woke it up. But now that I know what it's uh, doing, I can kind of deal with that. Where's Shelly? Okay, let's head through this nice looking door. Whoa, Nelly! So these guys can only be stunned temporarily. Um, they replace the blue birds. Oh! Rats. And, oh, I came in right on top of that. Thankfully it didn't recognize it and I can go and uh, get this. Alright, this is a key to Mort's base. Now to look for more keys. Alright, well, we're starting off okay. Now we're going to descend into forest tunnels. I'm hoping this goes a lot better than my Sonic playthrough yesterday, but that was a bit of a disaster. That said, I've played Keen a lot more than Sonic, so even playing a new Keen game I should uh, do relatively okay by comparison. That looks dangerous. I don't think I successfully killed a Wormouth 
in the whole playthrough of Keen 4. Anyway, I'm hoping that this Keen's difficulty is reasonable. Some mods that I've seen, like, differentiate themselves from the original games by absolutely ramping up the difficulty. And, um, I suppose there's a place for that, but it's not necessarily what I want out of a mod. I'd like a mod that is about as hard as the regular games one. So they bounce on the second, not on the third. Okay, so presumably... I need to hit that switch. Can I go down and around? No, I can't. No, I can go up above where the not worm mouth is. What are they called? Nose drill. Okay, so that, I imagine, will start the lift that we went past before. Let's drop a save here and see where we're going. There's a lot of nose drills so far for playing on easy. That's got me a little worried. Okay, I now can't get across the fire because I deactivated the bridge. So we're going to have to go back up. lift. And we have an exit. Anything interesting over here before I leave? Bunch of points. Oh, a lot of points. Enough for an extra life. Oh, that's not worth it. Alright. Okay, so we're opening up some world map. I need a coin. Okay. Apparently we need a coin before we can go in the lake. Not a wetsuit. Presumably because we brought our wetsuit with us from the Shadowlands. But, uh, we need a coin, I guess. Okay, so we've now got a lot of levels opened up to us. Uh, right. Well, hard to say. I guess this one looks like it's probably next, so, uh, we'll do it. 
Going through the mansion. Oh, lordy. Right. Do -do -do. That'll earn you. Hey, it's Lieutenant Barker. You can get a swim coin in Monk's house. Good luck, Commander Keen. Thanks for the good advice, Lieutenant Barker. Okay, so we need to look for a level called the Monk's House. I guess. And uh, once there, we will be able to get the coin so we can go swimming. That was stupid. <laughs> I've just noticed it still says exit to Shadowlands when you die. A very long couch, Johnny Dash would be proud. Anyone ever played Monster Bash? Great game by Apogee. Hard as nails. Guys got good AI. Well, better AI than I'm used to in this series. I wonder what he's gonna tell me. You can get a swim coin in Monk's house. I actually don't mind that the game calls you Commander Keen instead of Commander Kylie because I always kind of prefer to think of it as um, Commander Keen just as a girl anyway, so. I get a, no, I got a red key. Ah, I thought I got a green key. I think I need to be saving more often. Well, there's a green key. Stocked on ammo. I need a gold key. I don't need hamburgers, I need a gold key. No, there is I thought there might have been a secret like a second secret passage leading out of that room, but it doesn't appear to be. Okay, so I've got a red key, I need a gold key. And that'll get me a green key. Come on, Patsy. Mm -hmm. 
I got a blue key. <laughs> the one kind of key I hadn't worked out I needed yet. Okay, there's the blue door. That was a little ambitious. I didn't really mean to shoot the bouncy thing. It just kind of was in my way. Jeez, they don't have much of a recovery time. Come on. Boom. Extra life. Thank you. Ooh, shoot. Ah! Uh, okay. Looks like we're gonna have to come back here anyway, so let's uh, not get too carried away exploring this time. Green key. Was it down the other yellow pole? I forget. No, it was down the other yellow pole. Shikadai Master on the wall there. Predation and the really long couch. Green door. What do we got down here? Oh, don't like you. Ah, I do have a split second to shoot him before he attacks. Oh my god. Got it. Okay. Nope, nothing up there. There's the key. All right, cool. Another key to more space. Uh, actually, we'll save once we get to another level, I guess. Uh, that's an interesting... Oh, this is our Mirage, yeah, an appearing-disappearing level. Sneaks into the complex. Okay.
Oh, we have snuck into the complex. We've gone. Um. Okay. <laughs> well. This is why I say frequently. Um. For those watching on YouTube, I guess our next part will be the complex and I won't go that way again. Uh. Please like, subscribe, and uh, check out my other videos. I've done all the official id software keen games and uh, a lot more besides. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, watching these videos and uh, stick with me for uh, more of the same. Hopefully always improving.